Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And let me go ahead and uh, intro this music real quick. Oh, and let me um let me start out by saying that uh, yeah, there is going to be a lot of moving parts in this one. Um, so just a bunch of stuff I have to keep track of. So just uh get ready for some goof ups here and there. But anyway, like I was saying, um, this one here is going to be Mostral, uh, the Weeping Everglades, and uh, this is. I actually went through my uh, my YouTube uh, watch later folder, and uh, I actually have a whole bunch of these albums that are just sitting here collecting dust. So I just went ahead and uh, picked which one, just basically picked one at random. Um, went with this one, sounded pretty cool at the time, so I just went with it. So let me go ahead and rewind her back. But, uh, anyway, to start with, um, I decided to do another pinball stream yesterday. Um, after realizing that, that, uh, I've said this yesterday and possibly the day before as well, but, uh, this coming Wednesday, I have, a I have an apartment inspection. Like, the fire chief and my landlady is gonna go through and inspect my apartment, make sure there's no fire hazards or anything like that. Um, it happens every year. Most of the time they go off without a hitch, but there is the occasional time where uh, I have to move my um, I have to move my couch over here, or um, I have to get my uh, my big old 32 inch CRT TV, my old bulky sucker. I gotta get to this day. I still I still can't get rid of it. Just I can't I can't lift it up by myself, and I'd have to carry it down three flights of stairs. And even then. Um, not every place is gonna take it like a thrift. Anyway, I'm kind of I'm kind of straying off the topic here, but anyway. Um, to, there's gonna be a chance at Tuesday when I normally do my pinball stream, I might not be streaming at all because I might need that time to like start doing some cleaning up and stuff like that. But so, but mostly as a precaution, I decided to go ahead and just do another another stream yesterday. But um, uh, it went good. Real damn good, almost, you know, almost like a, uh, like Tuesday stream good. So, just uh, did uh, did really good on the on some of the, did good on the tournaments that I entered in FX3, and uh, I actually beat a couple high scores in pinball arcade. And uh, just a second, I gotta, I gotta take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Like I was saying, um, beat a couple of high scores, uh, especially in one Bram Stoker's Dracula, considered one of the most difficult tables to play on. I actually managed to beat my old high score, so yeah, that was a hell of an achievement there. Um, I think the other one being Judge Dread, that was um, um, it's it's a fairly high scoring table, but uh, with these um. The difficulty with beating these high scores is uh, I'm having to beat my previous high score. I'm like having to do better than the last time, which isn't that easy of a feat. I mean, I don't, I, usually with a lot of these tables, I don't have that much trouble beating, beating the uh, default high score. Like when you first install the game, the preset high scores that come with it. Usually it's not that much of a problem with me, get, you know, beating those. It's just trying to beat my previous best. So. But, um, for uh, today's stream, uh, Monday's stream, um, it's probably like it's been going on the past few days. It's gonna be a coin toss between pinball and idle champs. Um, they got idle champs. I, I played it a little bit. Um, I basically just um, I think I just for the most part just doing farming runs. 
I think I did maybe one progression run, but that's about it. So, but otherwise, um, I just put it on maintenance mode. Um, just set it to set my guys to a comfortable farming level, um, as high as possible while still one-shotting the monsters and just save and quit and just let it go offline. So, that's what I pretty much did with that. Um, and then, um, some people have probably, uh, some people have probably heard me, uh, mention this channel before, like, recently. Um, it was a couple of channels I got into. Um, they're, um, one's Friday Night Fisticuffs, and the other one's, uh, Saturday Morning Scrub Lords. It's just, uh, his, his name is Wooly. Um, W-O-O-L-I-E, Wooly. But, um, in his channel, oh, this is like, uh, back in the 2010s, he, uh, he got some of his buddies together and they started, uh, they started doing Let's Play videos of them playing, uh, fighting games. Um, the, the fisticuffs are the, um, I don't want to say, I don't want to say serious, but, uh, they'll, they'll, uh, do Let's Plays of the good fighting games and then the uh the the scrub lords one they'll even they'll play like the really bad ones or the really really obscure ones so it's a channel that i got into recently and it's a a channel i wish i had known about like back in the 2010s had i had watched more of the stuff i might have actually gotten into fighting games a lot sooner because uh at that time i think i only watched maybe one episode of them, um, Virtual Fighter 5, uh, Final, like, Final Revolution or Final Showdown or whatever it's called, but yeah, I just watched that one episode, um, I just took it to be the, the Try Hard channel and thought nothing more of it, and, um, but yeah, back in the, back in the 2010s, um, I wasn't playing fighting games, I was, uh, I was watching like Evo tournaments and stuff like that and uh let me check my music real quick okay it's still running it just it was just totally dead silent there for a moment so I thought maybe YouTube was fucking up on me so but yeah um but I think it was uh it was recently that uh the more more of the more of the channel's videos started popping up on my YouTube recommendations, so started checking out more of them, and it's just like, damn, like th these guys have been busy, and they're not, again, they're uh, they're they're kind of my uh, they're kind of my window, or they're now my window into other fighting games. If there's like a a fighting game I'm interested in, see if um, see if Wally has it on any one of his videos and then watch it first it's kind of a good preview and plus best of all it's um it's a i hate using this word but it's a casual atmosphere i mean it's just you know a bunch of buddies getting together you know having a good time like no no serious tournaments or anything like that so but anyway what i was um what i'm really trying to say about them is uh they also uh They've all, they also got another channel, uh, Best Friends Beat 'em Ups. Like, they play beat 'em up games too. And um, and they actually uh, they actually they did a video of uh, probably my all time favorite beat 'em up, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Shadow Over Mistara. I mean, oh god, I suck a shit ton of quarters into this one. So, so yeah, but they they did a let's play on this one here too, just. Oops. So you're warned. Anyway, um, just but been watching this, um, watching them. They've been up. I think they're probably two thirds of the way done with the game. But uh, just but uh, 
just like just like all their other stuff, they're not. It's mostly casual stuff they do. They're just a lot of bantering back and forth, a lot of gooping around and whatnot. So they just kind of go at their own pace. Okay, and um, one other thing that I have to do. I forgot to do this last time. Okay. Forgot to throw that on. So, but yeah, I'm um, just, just been watching this off and on. Um, and, um, and there, oh, and I did forget to add one other thing. Um, let me see if I can even get to it. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go ahead. And, I'll just go ahead and say it. The, um, wait, wait, I might have this one. I might have this one. Hold on. Like I said, there's, there's a, there's a lot involved in this, or there's a, there's a lot of work involved in doing this particular cast video. Um, I should still have it. Okay, gotta cancel a lot of that. I gotta look a little sloppy, but but um another channel. Um you guys have probably you guys have probably seen me mention this one before, but Janet, um she's and I was actually wrong about her. Originally I said she was Japanese. I think she's actually Korean. Like whoops. So anyway. She uh, put out another video. Um I forget what it's called. I think it's called US or U.S. Volleyball or something like that. It was an arcade game that came out in the 80s. Um, she uh, put out another video. She was trying to beat her personal best. So, and which I think she did. But yeah, I've just been, um, just been watching that as well. So. And then um, one other thing. Okay, there's gonna be a bit of a setup period with this one. Um, I tried watching watching another Ukraine video from a channel called Vice, but uh, not really gonna be watching any of their videos anymore. Not that it's not that it's poor quality or anything. I'll see if I can out. His condition right now. Okay, I'll. I'll kind of repeat it. I'll kind of repeat it again, uh, but this is probably one thing that really turned me off on this channel. Although I don't think there was anything they could do about it. His condition right now. Okay. So there, I think I said this yesterday too. There's this really big disconnect between the languages. It's like, where's the translator? You know, you would think there'd be like a, you know, in all these um. Uh, situations that I know of where uh, nobody speaks each other's language there's usually like a, a translator guy standing between them you know you know I, again translating the languages but it's just what is his condition right now it, 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 but again it's not it's not bad quality per se it just it's very awkward and cringy for me to watch, you know, because I mean, I, I like to know how, you know. Again, I don't see a translator there. It's like they're being, it's being edited out. Because otherwise, no, it's like, it's like Luke Skywalker and um, R two D two. They speak totally different languages, but yet they understand each other perfectly. It's like Han Solo and Chewie. Um, it's like Clash of the Titans. Uh main character 
uh, Mark Harmon, um, Perseus, you know, Perseus and that, that mechanical owl, it's like totally different languages, but yet they, they're somehow able to understand each other, it just, I mean, I, I have an easy time suspending my disbelief in something like that, because they're, they're fantasy films, but this is like real life, actual human beings communicating with each other, and, what is his condition right now? Like I said, it's really, really awkward. It, you know, again, it's like, it doesn't, this kind of thing doesn't translate really well in real life. But it's, but it's been a, it's been all over these videos. Like, um, you know, people traveling to foreign countries and then trying to communicate with the natives and it just, ugh. But again, no Again, it's not it's not bad quality, it's just something I can't get into. But anyway, um so what I'll probably do I mean now keep now please believe me when I say that I don't I don't follow current events. So here, let me I suppose I get the music back on. You know, I don't follow current events. At least not religiously, but it just, you know, the Russia-Ukraine thing, it just kind of had me a little bit curious. So, I'm mostly, um, oh, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Mostly outside looking in. So, it just, it's just one of those, it, I mean, just watching these videos is just one of those things that's just, leaves a really bad taste in my mouth, so... I guess uh, from here on out, in fact, I wonder if I still have, yeah, I, I don't have the window open up, but uh, those that know me know that um, I'm really big on reading Jessica Wildfire stuff, but she had a, she had an article about, she had an article, I, I'd love to talk about it, but again, it just, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a whole lot of work trying to pull it all up and stuff. So, so yeah, but otherwise, as far as uh, learning more about Russia and Ukraine, it's probably just gonna be read only. Um, probably not gonna watch any more vids or anything. Like if this is, I mean, this is, the, as far as videos go, it is the kind of stuff I'd like to watch. You know, people be actually being out there in the field, out there on the front lines. But again, it just, it's the Luke Skywalker R2-D2 thing. It just, ugh. So. Makes it really hard to watch. Um, but otherwise, uh, that'll do her. Um, that's, that's, um, that's what I got. Um, I don't think there was anything else I could think of at the moment. Nope. Uh, but again, um, that, that'll be it. Um, yeah, struggling trying to find the right words to say. Um, but otherwise, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now.